Hey guys, James here from 3D Brothers Printing. Um, I did a video yesterday. Uh, it was a rea my reaction to a review of the K1 from Creality that's coming out. And today, my friend, brother, and colleague turned me on to another video I wanted to get some thoughts out there on. Uh, just uh, get my thoughts out there, get your guys' response, get your engagement, see what we think about it. This is for the ProForge 4 Tool Changing Quad Core XY 3D Printer. It's currently in a crowdfunding state on Kickstarter, and um, I've seen this video already, but I want to go over it with you guys. I got to tell you, I it's looking like it's going to be some good competition. So let's get into it. This is the all-new ProForge 4, a high-speed, tool-changing 3D printer. Reach speeds of up to 800 millimeters per second and up to 60,000 millimeters per second squared of acceleration. Okay, so 13 minute Benchy, we're already starting out strong, okay? We're, we're going into what I like, I think it's gonna be a golden age of 3D printing. Um, we're going from three, four, five hour type Benchies that are the same size as you see there, very small Benchy boat. Uh, and that, that taking three, four, five hours on some printers to if you're not sub 20 minutes, you're not even in the race, right? It's not even a, we're not even in the race. We're not, you're not registered. You're not signed up. Okay. So 13 minutes, you're right where you need to be with your Benchy. Um, anything sub tw uh, uh, over 20 minutes is not, it's not going to happen. So, and they said 800 millimeter MMS. At max speed, they said up to, which means max speed is that. <clears throat> so I'd like to say that that's still fast. And again, golden age, I think anything less than, if it can't go at least 500 MMS, again, that printer is not even showing up. It's not even worth your time. It's not worth your energy. Uh, you know, especially when you talk energy consumption costs, right? Um, if you got to, if it takes five hours to print, print a Benchy, that's five hours of electricity you use to print that Benchy. Or it's 13 minutes you use to print that Benchy, right? I mean, it doesn't seem like a lot, but it adds up, right? Your prints are going for, you know, 62 hours to get a print done, or your prints are going for like, you know, 30, 30 hours to get a print done. It's, it, it makes a difference. All made possible with our quad core XY motion system. And you seen those layer lines? I'll go back. Ration. All made possible. So pretty heavy layer lines on there. And you'll see that throughout the prints in this video. Um, although that's not bad, yes, you'll you'll need finishing work, a lot more finishing work than you would need on like my bamboo can I can print out parts that are like smooth. I mean, like smooth. I don't know if you could if I hold this up if you could see it. This is just a one I printed out, and there's like no layer lines really. It's smooth. The touch, I don't feel the lines. You know. Um, this is going to be more in-depth, right, with finishing work. But that being said, it's going to be perfect for people like cosplay, who's going to, they're going to be sanding, priming, sanding, priming, sanding, priming, painting, anyways, to make these cos pieces, cosplay pieces look as good as possible. Helmets and chest plates, and I'll get into it later, but this is a, the build volume, you're going to see that later, it's huge. So you'll be able to print full-size helmets in one print. Uh, a chess piece in either one print or two two large prints. So this printer is going to be good for the hobbies that uses it for that type of stuff. Um, let's move on. With our quad core XY motion system design. I'll try to talk over some of it. Instead of pausing it all the time. That material change. This is the game. The Pro right Forge guys. 4 also features a tool changer that allows for seamless switching between up to four different materials, making printing both fast and efficient. Okay, this might be one of the last time I try to pause it. I'll try to talk over the video from here on out. So, this is why, the, like, Voron does this. They already have the tool changing head, but Voron, very expensive printer, right? And you got to build it yourself. This looks like it's going to be coming, coming assembled. Uh, this looks like an open printer. You'll see later that this is an enclosed printer. You got the tool changing heads. I love my AMS system back here. You can see it behind me. I love it. But 
it does take a long time to, it adds a lot of extra time to your prints. The tool head has to, like when it switches colors, it has to go over to the purge bucket, purge out enough, the rest of that filament, pull it out, put the new filament in, purge a little bit of that through, come over here to the back of the plate, print a layer or two of the printing block, and then it prints that color. And then once it's done with that layer of that color, it goes back and does that same thing. Purge, fill, purge, printing block, fill. And so it adds a lot of extra time. This, those, it's just those uh, extruder ends are already hot. They already have the filament in them, that the color you want them. So it just goes over, it puts one back, grabs the next one, goes and prints. That, and that's a much faster process. Less waste, faster printing with the colors. Yeah. Uh, you're going to save a lot of time. And Voron being exp as expensive as Voron is, and not everybody can just build a printer, uh, this is huge. This is massive. Use a 0.8mm nozzle for strong and fast infill and a 0.2mm nozzle for detailed walls. So that's another thing it's saying you can do, is that... You can have one nozzle set, one of these uh, tool heads set up as a 0.8, and you can tell it, I want this head to do all the infill, and it's at a 0.8, so it's going to print the infill a lot faster. Infill's not as important as, like, your outer walls, so it'll grab that to do the infill, and it'll do it a lot faster than it would do it with the 0.4. I mean, it's a good way to do it. Incorporate flexible filaments for functional one-print parts. Print supports in PVA and then dissolve in water to leave behind impossible objects such as this chain. I mean, that's not that impossible. I can do that without PVA or supports. But, I mean, it, that's a bit of marketing. PVA is great, don't get me wrong. But that's a that's a little marketing that they're... And yeah, they're, they're uh, in Kickstarter, they're in crowdfunding. So, yeah, I'll, I'll let them have it. With a whopping 400 by 300 by 340 millimeters build volume, it's perfect for unleashing all of your biggest and wildest ideas. The print bed is made from an ultra flat aluminium tooling plate and with auto quad bed leveling, it provides the perfect first layer every time. Okay, first layer. That's good first layer. By combining a high temp hot end, heated bed and enclosure, you are able to print the enclosure is so cool because, uh, like, with open bed printers, uh, you get a lot of, like, say I'm in, I'm in my, where I'm in the room my printer's in, and I want to turn on the AC. Well, an open bed printer, turning on the AC and the temperature rising in the room can, can cause a print to fail because it cools the filament too fast or whatever. Turning on extra power, you know, it, yeah. Uh, so the enclosed, I think enclosed is the way it's going to go from now on too. There's a lot of enclosed printers, but uh, I think uh, open bed printers are, are kind of getting, I would say phased out. I would like to see them phased out. Uh, uh, enclosed chamber gives you more control over your print, which everybody wants, less failure rate, etc. Prints a wide variety of materials. Nylon, PC, ABS, PVA, TPU, and PLA. That's a good range of materials. Controlling your printer is simple, over Wi-Fi or via the touchscreen display. And look at that touchscreen display. So you have cloud printing. You can send it like over Wi-Fi through your phone. I'm assuming there'll be an app. You can send it straight from your computer to the thing. You don't have to plug things out, plug things in. I know people are worried about safety and privacy, but 99.9999% of people are just printing things. They either design themselves that they're not like copywriting or trademarking or working for some company on secret projects, right? So people aren't going to like, they're not going to steal your info. Like, I know there's people in the community that think that, get over it. You're not that interesting. And I'm not saying that to be mean or rude. You're just not that interesting. Like, it's not a big deal. For me, I'm 100% cloud printing. I love it. I, I like being able to be not at my house, know my printer's on, get on my app on Bamboo and say, oh yeah, put this file in here. It'll slice it, and I can just tell it to start printing, and it'll start printing. Uh, I I love that. It's convenient. It's I think it should be a gold standard now, and that's a very large screen. I will say the frame around the screen looks three D printed, kind of cheap, but I mean, it's large, 
and it's its own thing. It's its own thing. This whole princer feels like its own thing. Like it took inspiration from Voron, sure, maybe took some inspiration from um, Prusa over here, but they're trying to make it their own thing. I, and I, I'm a fan. We've also included a camera for monitoring your prints. Camera? Those, I think that should be standard too. Our printer is proudly 100% open source with both open source hardware and software. That's great for the hobbyist that wants to modify the printer in thousands of different ways and make it their own. That's amazing. And it's open source, hardware and software open source. Yeah. I mean, that's just a big plus, right? People, the hobbyists that like to tweak and, and tinker and, and yeah. Yeah. What else can you say about it? Back us today on Kickstarter and help us bring the Pro Forge 4 to life. There you guys go. Go check them out on Kickstarter to see what they're about. The printer does run about $1,400, $1,400. So it will be kind of expensive. But I, I I look forward to seeing it be competition, and I'm a fan. You guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you like these type of videos. I want to do more of them. I, I, I like covering 3D printing content, um, and I'm by no means an expert. Kind of uh, just past novice, maybe adept at, in, in, the, in the field, but I see this as a positive, right? Um, Absolutely. So let me know what you think down below. I like I like having discussions and getting involved in and in, in, even if it's a debate, you disagree with me. That's great. <clears throat> I like to be challenged in my thoughts and my views. Anyways, guys, uh, also check out our Etsy shop at 3D Brothers Printing. It's a 3D Brother Etsy dot 3D Brothers Brother singular because Brothers was taken. Uh, check us out. Links down below. Uh, I'll leave. Uh, all the, I'll leave the link for this original video down below. The Kickstarter link will be down below. Uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching.